Very sharp 34 SATS uh, SATS. 34 SATS Cedar Creek here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, Cedar Creek is a very interesting, unique product really in the world of RVs. And at, at a glance at the surface, you're like, what are you talking about? I've seen things that look like this all day. And it's not on the surface that defines the Cedar Creek. It's everything underneath. This is one of the only, I, I take that back. I think this is the only thing I would consider an elite level product on the market that is not laminated. And you're like, what are you talking about? I can see the fiberglass skin right here. This is not laminated. This, um, it is, you know, a fiberglass skin uh, with, you know, uh, you know, insulation in the walls and whatnot and aluminum framework, but it's not laminated. They use um, a uh, bracketed framework system that has proven itself to be extremely long lived and it, uh, just hyper reliable. They are just built different than anything else you're going to find. Um, I didn't see the weight tag inside this one and I haven't had a chance to grab the title to get the weight off that. But experience is going to tell me this is going to be in the neighborhood of about 11 to 12,000 pounds. So uh, all in all, pretty good shape. You see the slide out awning covers on here to keep the things protected. The fiberglass skin on this is among if not the highest grade used in the entire RV business. It is an extra thick skin that is basically like the hull of a boat. Um, so, it, you know, when it's brand new out the factory line, it's like a, a really extra thick, almost like Owens Corning level um, gel coat type material. It's extremely strong stuff. So you can, even though it's not laminated, you can sit there and pound on it and it'll fool you to think it is because that's the level of product we're looking at here. Now, uh, this has definitely been stored outside and I don't hide things from folks. The decals, you know, at this distance, you're like, oh, that's sharp. But when you start getting close, you will see a little bit of weathering on it. Remember that I went out of my way to tell you about that. We don't do smoke and mirror sales here. But seriously, that is the minorest of cosmetic issues. This thing is in excellent condition. Enclosed, heated, insulated underbelly. You know, something that's made for extended season use. If you have a park site and you just want to park this thing, it's perfect. How you doing, folks? Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Um, you know, front and rear caps, just to give it that real high gloss, dressy look. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Weird. I always sneeze in threes. When I was a little bit younger as a musician, and my experience has always been that musicians sneeze in fours, but it, I've never been considered normal. I mean, you know, my, my wife will tell you that, I'm, I'm less than normal. But um, anyway, be that as it may, back to the topic at hand. I do see where the folks have done some cleaning on this, like you can see um, where some of that chalkiness has been scrubbed off over time. That's a good indicator to me, though you do still see sun fading, it does say that they did wash and uh, keep the exterior this clean. We've actually had this RV in on trade before, so this is, uh, it's had at least two previous owners. All the windows are UV tinted and we've got uh, a very nicely sized power awning. That's something a lot of fifth wheels today lack is a good size power awning. Wider 30 inch entry door as well is a nice welcome feature. And uh, folks have put these little no slip covers on the steps here. Now inside that, um, that reliable construction and structure I mentioned, it continues through. You see how we've got the all hardwood doors and everything really, really well done cabinetry. I've been through Cedar Creek's factory. Though this is not a brand we carry, guys, I have the utmost respect for these. When I have to sell against a Cedar Creek, it's not, I, I can't take the pitch of, well, they're not built as well as the things I sell, because they are. They're built as well as anything else. It's a hard day at the office when I have to sell one of these, so I really like it when we get a used one in that we get to sell. Um, they are a very, very classy, well-built, sharp brand. In basically, any time you see these, uh, uh, they're, they're always uh, among the highest uh, tier fifth wheels out there. Now, um, statistically speaking, the guys that were working at Cedar Creek when this fifth wheel were built, or was built, they are still working there today. This is incredible. The average guy working at Cedar Creek has been there for like 14 years. So these aren't people who bounce around. Cedar Creek is one of those brands where the top talent in the RV business wants to get a job. It's not the place they work to because they need a job. It's the place they work to because that's where they want to work. That's a huge difference. Now, previous owners did some uh, nice things here. Um, they uh, put in this big Samsung HD TV. They've upgraded all the entertainment stuff. It looks like they've got a little kingdom system on here. And they just came up with a rare, very inexpensive but simple way to, to mount switches because they didn't want to, you know, dig... Um, you know, uh, holes into the walls to put a switch. Electric space heating fireplace down here, so you don't need to burn up your propane just to get heat. I mean, 
full walk-in height slide outs and just windows, 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 even over here in the kitchen and all the windows open for ventilation. It's very well done. I mean, the fabrics, the upholsteries, the woodwork, everything in here is still in really good shape. You can see this is not all worn down and, and you know, fraying apart. Um, I like the high back chairs with the full padded backs too. That's a rare thing. And big picture windows. Now, not only are these windows UV tinted, but they have two section day and night shades. So you have 100% control over as much or as little privacy, light, whatever you want, this thing does it. Um, you know, all solid surface countertops. I got a feeling this is a molded sink. Hey, by gosh, it is. That's a one piece molded sink. So there's no seams in here where that can fail and water can get in there. You've Awesome drawer space, awesome cabinet space. That continues above. That skylight is probably your best friend because that's one of the reasons, even with no lights on in here, this is very bright and comfortable inside. Uh, oh, and that big fan up there, that will help exhaust a lot of heat. If you're cooking up a storm, if you are one of those rare people that is a campsite cook, you're going to love that because that's going to keep your RV from cooking you, or pardon me, keep you from cooking yourself out of your RV. That's, that's the ticket. There you go. And... Hey, why not more bonus pantry space? Check that out. I mean, when when have you ever had when have when have you ever said my RV has too much storage? Never, never. No one ever says that because it doesn't exist. Um, dual entry bathroom. You can get to uh, from the hallway or from the bedroom, which is a really nice feature. And all of these doors are sliding pocket doors. What I think is cool about that, you see a lot of these doors to the bathroom. They swing open this way. Well, that means to walk you through this here, we have to walk up the steps. Grab the door, walk back down the steps, walk back up the steps. Now, for a young person like me who's pretty spry, that's not a problem. That doesn't really bother me. But I grew up camping with my grandparents. My grandmother has two titanium kneecaps. She had a pair of knee replacements. Watching her go up and down stairs is something I learned to respect because it wasn't as easy for her. So I look at stuff like fifth wheels like that who are often catered to people like my grandmother and... Um, I think, you know, this is smarter. This is a smarter appointment. Now, something I'm really noticing here as we're going through this is the cleanliness of these vent fans. The one in the kitchen caught my eye and the one here in the bathroom just as much, if not more so, because this one will tend to get used more. So these people apparently even cleaned the vent fans. That is impressive. That is very impressive, actually. Um, you know, nice foot flush stool. Plenty of leg room in here, too, to either use the stool or get dressed when you get out of the bathroom. And notice how, again, the details carry through. Uh, a one-piece solid surface molded kitchen or bathroom counter and sink. And the, the extra large, almost floating mirror style mirror over here. You know, we've got a, uh, again, this is big person friendly with our full true stand and height shower here. Um, you know, the only defect I can find in this fifth wheel is this guy. That's, that, that's the biggest problem in this fifth wheel right here. And little linen space over here in this. Hey, wow, that's not so little. I, I never opened that until just now. That is not so little. That is very cool. You can really get some towels in there. So bedroom up here. You know, all nice hardwood over here instead of like press board like you would commonly expect. Um, this is a true residential queen, but you see how there's extra space on both sides of the bed. This can accommodate a true king. So you have your choice there. We have front wall to wall storage. This is 50 amp service, so you could put a second AC up here if you want, but once again, they have another of these power ceiling vent fans up here. So you can really get some good airflow in here even without the AC roaring. Great storage capacity going on. And they even included a uh, TV in the bedroom. Now this was built before flat screens are super common. So previous owners did a nice job of installing this in a way that didn't look rednecky. <laughs> you know what I mean. You guys have seen it where, you know, well, we took a claw hammer and we punched a hole in the wall and fished the cables through there and there she be. You know, you don't see none of that here. Um, I've been told I do a pretty fair hillbilly voice. So there you have it. Of course, it makes sense. I've got a ton of hillbilly blood. Um, this little goatee, it's not an accident. I grow a neck beard and a goatee. I don't grow hair on my cheeks. I got natural born redneck DNA. I just try to hide it best I can. Nothing wrong with being a redneck. Just didn't really look good on me. <laughs> so give us a call. 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, y'all. <laughs>